And then my mom was like, ¿Te quedó el episodio bueno con ese guapote? And I was like, oh, hell oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I got to block my mom on my YouTube channel, bro. If I can, yeah, he does have a McLaren. Yeah. I would ride in that McLaren. What? I would ride in that McLaren. Oh, oh I heard oh, yeah. something else. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you're going to ride who? <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> Hola, ¿qué tal? Y bienvenidos a un episodio más de Ni de Acá. Ni de Allá. Y yo soy Benny. Y yo soy Rebe. Y el día de hoy tenemos un súper invitado. Um, let, let me tell you, we have our first celebrity Ooh. on this show. All right? <laughs> Honestly. You, a lot of you know him probably from The Burt Show or from the big podcast in the moment. He is Romeo and he is finally here. Romeo, bienvenido. Un aplauso. Thank you, for being hey. here. Thank you, thank you. It's been a long time coming, bro. I know, so long. Te haces el rogar. What? Te haces el rogar, bro. Ah, un I, poquito. I, I like it, you know. <laughs> Beg for me. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been a while. I think I DM Romeo the first time. I slid into his DMs. Um, I want to say about a year ago. I was on, on my oh, way shit. to Vegas, and we were listening to the Burt Show podcast. And you, it was an episode when you were telling your story about how you came from like your home country, the United States, the whole DACA thing. Yeah, yeah. And that shit hit me, and I was like, damn. So I remember, like, hitting him up, and I was like, yo, bro, I appreciate you, like, representing us, you know, on such a big platform and everything. And then he damned me back, and I kind of fanboy over it, and my girl was like, relax. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and then I was like, a ver cuando echamos unos tacos. And ever since, we've never met uh, until today. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, yeah. We, like, we would say each other, like, yo, we're going to get tacos, like, next Tuesday or whatever. Yeah. And then it just never happened. It was always something. He was, he was busy. I was busy. And then since we're kind of like an hour away, it's to, to meet halfway, también, within ships or whatever, it was, it was pretty complicated. Yeah. But he's finally here, and hoy sí le vamos a preguntar de todo. For all of you guys that want to know everything about Romeo, even his real name, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get it all oh, today. Sh <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so nervous about your real name? <laughs> Cuz, <laughs> should, we, should we start off with your real name, Romeo? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. All right, Romeo, go, go ahead. It's all, it's all yours. You okay. What's, what's Romeo's real name? Uh, Kevin. Kevin. El Kevin. Yeah, let's call him Romeo. That sounds cooler. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me lo cambié en la radio. It was one morning. Uh, I just didn't like Kevin. No me gusta como suena en español. I don't know what it was, but it was just Kevin. El Kevin. That, that bothers me so much. Wait, I don't... Uh, uh, o sea, te dicen Kevin con yeah. ese acento en la I? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought it was just Kevin. No, it's Kevin... just Kevin. Oh, I've never heard of Kevin before. Yeah, that's that's how they say it. So, like, I, I never now. liked it. I feel you now. And then, but I liked it in English. Like, Kevin, I right. felt like it sounded kind of nice. But then, uh, one day in the radio, I was just like, I don't like my name. I want to switch it. But I felt like it was, like, a disrespect okay. to my parents if I switched it. Mm. So I was just like, I don't know if I should do it or not. And then Kristen, who's one of the hosts on the show, she was like, you know, when you work in radio, a lot of people change their name in radio. What do you want to be called? And I was just like, fuck, I don't know, I don't know. And I was just like, oh, my God, what do I say? It was like 30 seconds of, like, me pausing. Like, ni idea, ¿qué, qué va a decir? Y de repente me salió Romeo Santos en la cabeza. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's where I got the name, Romeo Santos. O sea, te imaginas que no sé, le hubiese salido algo así como Anuel. Oh God! Nah, we're, is there, is there like, <laughs> o sea, que we were not, we were not fucking claiming him as a Latino, right? There, like, I don't know. Imagine that in vez de que hubiese pensado en Romeo Santos, que sí ya te lo ni sabes. Right. Si hubiese pensado, oh, you know what? I, I, I'm gonna be called Kevin Noel or something like that, like <laughs> just something like that. I feel like that was already in your mind. Do you do you consider yourself a twin of Romeo Santos, bro? No, no, no. I feel no, like no. he looked at himself in the mirror. He was like, nah. Romeo. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No, it's because yeah, I think I've always liked Romeo. Mm -hmm. And I think I always wanted to call my, my son Romeo. Because I think it was something that I liked. Uh, so that was just in the back of your mind. Yeah. Como es que me gusta como suena en español. So mm -hmm. suena Romeo. Y en inglés es Romeo. Right. Oh. Entonces me gusta como suenan los dos. Y ese era mi problema con Kevin. Que sonaba bien feo en español. <laughs> pero bien bonito en inglés. Pero entonces creé un nombre que sonaba bien en los dos. 
Yeah. And I think Romeo Romeo was just perfect. Entonces, desde entonces, quedó. No, I mean, yeah, I think it sounds it sounds pretty dope. Bro. I mean, it sounds it's better Benny than Benjamin. So, no, yeah, for yeah. sure. I've never been called Benjamin <laughs> my entire life. Benjamin? I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yo, yo llegué aquí a los Estados Unidos, and my name, obviously, mi nombre Benjamin, and everybody at school was like, we're going to call you Ben. Which I think is like the whitest name, right? And I, <laughs> ben Flowers? Yes. And so ever since, I think from kindergarten to I graduated high school, it's always been Ben. You should have gone with like ben. Ben, Benji. I hate Benji, bro. And you know who calls me Benji? Our Your boss. Mom? Oh, no. Oh, damn. Greg. Does he's he the really? only one who calls me Benji. And I'm like, mm, yeah, but he's my boss. I gotta say anything. He's like, ah, hilarious <laughs> boss. <laughs> and it's always been Ben until three, four years ago when I started working in radio. Mm. They were like, oh, no, okay, um, what's gonna be your radio name, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. For some reason, in Mexican radio, everybody has a fucking animal as a name. Ta el alacrán, el panda, el doggy, potrillo, which is a horse. And I was like, I don't want a fucking animal name. <laughs> y en ese entonces estaba trabajando el malo ahí en la, en la mega. And he was like, oh, so it's all the Bad Bunny. We're going to call you Bad Benny. Oh and I God. was like, oh, okay, sure. Walk it. And we stuck with Bad Benny, but then it changed to El Toxico. Nobody calls me Bad Benny. Nobody fucking calls me Bad Benny, bro. It's like, really? that's not even my name. Everybody's like, oh, oh El Toxico. Sí, sabes que me pasó una vez que yo estaba como en una reunión y algo, and I told Benny, and then se le fue la cabeza gigante como por tres semanas. Porque me pregunté, ¿y dónde trabajas tú? No, just kidding, it was my mom. Y cuando ya había llegado, ay, tú eres mi hija, la locutora. And I'm like, no, I'm a glorified assistant. Pero, anyway, entonces, ¿trabajas en dónde? Yo no me la... ¿Tú conoces El Tóxico? And I was like, yeah, I mean, I guess. It felt good. You like it? Yeah. Sí, tenía la cabezota así como megamente como por tres semanas. But look, it, it's, it's cool because the radio station we work at is a small radio station, right? So the coverage is fucking Gwinnett. It doesn't get past fucking Jimmy Carter. It's so funny. Le so dicen, le dicen <laughs> el walkie-talkie más potente de Atlanta. Yes, that's, so that's what we are. <laughs> and so when somebody recognizes my voice or me, I'm like, oh, cool. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure people recognize Romeo more than me no, any day. No, 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 no. At least his voice. Right. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, Maybe, I don't know. I mean, he has a cool voice. Right? I mean, this dude is in over six states. Can no? you do a little ASMR for 20, 26 cities. 26 cities. Can you do a little ASMR for us? No. Nope. I think I think you guys have a better radio <laughs> voice. No, you definitely have no, a voice. No, no, like, like, if you get closer did, you hear, did you not hear your intro? Do it again. You're like, oh, I want to go with my time. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Now I just be talking, dude. I just be talking, man. <laughs> This guy made me feel like Don Francisco or something. <laughs> what do you? That's how you sounded, bro. I literally feel like I'm just talking to though. No, does it sound? Does it, do I sound radio when I do the intro? No, it, it's so funny when I'm editing because he's like three, two, one. Bienvenidos, cómo están? I'm like, oh shit, what happened? I'm just like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's like the practice from radio. Like you gotta fucking, I gotta start off with a fucking hype whenever I go on on the mic. So I'm like, I don't but know. I, I think it's because like I think Spanish radio, they they do that voice right. Yeah, like a lot of times because for us in like American radio, I guess you can say it. They just kind of talk. They don't really yeah. like. They don't put like. Uh, yeah, they don't start here and you go here. Like they're just like, yeah. So we're back and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We're moving on to the next segment, uh, Romeo. And then Romeo just comes in and starts talking. No, we do, especially in La Raza, like fucking Alacran. Oh, yeah. It's so He's funny. He's like, yo, no, no. bienvenido. Y en la mañana. La and I'm like, damn. No, no, en la mañana. Bueno, el show del Pitufo en las tardes. O yeah. sea, es una cosa que tú puedes estar sirviendo un café o en el baño y lo escuchas por toda, todo el edificio and se he, entera. And he has like his high-pitched voice. Todo. Like, sí. Yeah. Ese, ese, sí lo, ese sí es un switch. Es impresionante. He could be talking like you and like this very normal. Bienvenidos al show del Pitufo. I was like, what? Wow. I've never even thought about person? that, though. Why do we do that? I don't know. I'm I gonna don't, stop. I don't do that. Starting on Monday, <laughs> nah. I'm just gonna be like, I'm just gonna be like, it's gonna be like the Bad Benny Show. Hey guys, welcome. So this is Bad Benny Show. <laughs> <laughs> Still kind of did it, dude. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> so Romeo, cuéntame un poquito. Tú me dices que bueno que tú eres de El Salvador, right? Mm -hmm. And how was the whole transition cuando llegaste acá? Bueno, me uh, me vine a los ocho años. Okay. Entonces crecí aquí desde los ocho años. Cabala Marieta. Uh, nosotros nos vinimos por tierra. So it was wow. like so you came walking, like wet back. Fuck, like bro. I'm legit. Like I crossed the river and all that, and it was. Shoot. I think it was an experience. Like I've completely blocked out of my mind. Like I don't. I don't remember, don't remember a lot anything? of it. Like at all, a lot of it, I don't recall. Um, I think it was just traumatizing, more than anything. 
But, uh, yeah, I grew up here. I I don't know. Like, I lived my whole life here, pretty much. So now it's, like, weird because I, I feel like I... Like, growing up here, I tried to assimilate very much to American culture. And that's, like, an issue, I feel like, now. Especially mm. because you use a dishwasher. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, this dude doesn't hand wash dishes like a normal Latino. He fucking uses a dishwasher. The dishwasher is used to store shit. Anyways, another story. No, <laughs> that's working smarter, bro, not harder. <laughs> and does it? No, yeah, so. Ahorita, ahorita tengo un problema porque, like, you see me on the radio, and it's an American, like, radio and it's a big big show so they always they see me as a representative like a representative for the latino community mm-hmm. and anytime i go on there and i talk about something like they like i don't know how to explain it but but like i i think going into a, what it was like a white show i felt like okay people are gonna not like me because i'm brown i'm hispanic right. they're gonna have something to say what took me by surprise was que eran latinos that didn't like me and I was just like, whoa, this is weird. Because I thought, like, we were going to support one another. Mm-hmm. But they they always, somebody always had, like, it wasn't all of them. But it was like somebody always had something to say. If I talked about DACA, for example, I remember one time I talked, and no tenía dinero para pagar, porque it's expensive. It's like $500 or something yeah. to pay. And then I was in college at the time. So I was telling them, like, yeah, like, I can't, I can't really afford it. Like, I'm not really working a lot because I'm in school. And somebody was just like, Nosotros somos Latinos, nosotros trabajamos. Like, what the fuck are you, like, going on there and saying that we don't work and blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, when did I say that? <laughs> like, when did I, I was just talking that about. That is so crazy. O sea, si te pones a pensar, es so crazy que trabajas en una estación tan grande. Porque there was, it, siempre hay alguien que está escuchando. So you yeah. never know what you're going to get. Not, like, yeah, otras so, estaciones de radio. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> shade. <laughs> eh, entonces, like, it, for me, it was weird. Because I was just like, wow, like, out of everything that I talked about. You just focused on that one thing, and you got upset about that. Because yeah. I never said that Latinos don't work. You just say you. Probably. I said I was in school, and I didn't work right now. Mm. And so, for me, it was just like, what, where did you get this from? Like, you took that, and you made it your own thing, and then you, you went out, and, and so I'm moving my hands a lot. And <laughs> it's been around, and so um, I was bothered by that. And then recently, uh, we had a conversation with, with Bert, who brought up a topic where it was like his friend, who I think he said was Mexican, but grew up here and didn't know any Spanish at all. But he worked in construction, and he was telling us that the the white guy who was the, the builder, I guess, would come in and talk to everybody in Spanish, and he would talk to his like friend in Spanish, but the dude didn't know Spanish, so he would never say anything. Mm. And he let it go on and on and on. And so I was telling, he would ask me, like, oh, is that racist for a white guy to come in and like talk to Spanish to everybody? And I was like, no, I just think it depends. Right? I think it depends. Like, if he's, like, actually talking in Spanish... Y lo habla bien, and like, solo quiere hablar con ellos, cool. Yeah. But if you're coming in, and you're just like... Oh, burrito, taco, margarita. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. señor. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, that's, nice. that's what bothered me, and like, I told them that. And or like, sometimes when I go into certain, like, like the DMV, for example, they want to talk to me, like, in Spanish, or try to talk to me in Spanish. Say it that way. They try to talk to me in Spanish, and I don't like that, because I'm like... No, like, I learn English. Right. We can talk in English. Like, I, I can have a conversation. You don't but have are to... Are they Hispanic or are they... No, they're white people. Okay. That's what I, I feel like no. they're, they're <laughs> using him as a token, kind of like, oh, I'm trying to practice my Spanish, but it's like, yeah, I'm yeah. not... I don't want to practice my exactly. Spanish. punching bag. Yeah. Like, so yeah. I said that, and I said that on the radio, and somebody pretty much uh, DM'd me, and they were like, oh, no sos orgulloso, no seas de aquí, no, like, no te olvides donde sos, like, stay humble, like, I joined the military uh, to represent us, and blah, blah, and I was like, who asked you to join the military, bro, like, like who asked you, and like, that's my fault because... like, you went and joined the military to represent a country that doesn't even like you, you know what right. I'm saying, like, that's, to me, that was, like, the issue, I was just like, come on now, and then she was throwing that at me, and she was like, you stay humble, like, you're on top, uh, you're going places, like, just, that, the her telling me stay humble really bothered me. Because I was just like, dude, like, I was referring to this and this and that. So now I just, like, I feel this pressure to start in this association is their own representative. It's just, it's a lot. I mean, I can I can see that, bro. And I think, unfortunately, nuestra comunidad latina is very envidiosa, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, no, no importa de qué país seas, son envidiosos. And it, I think it takes a lot of maturity for a Latino to assimilate that somebody like you that came, right, con DACA, illegal and everything, encuentras en una posición that a lot of us would probably would love to be in. Right. Right? And instead of, like, appreciating that, they're just trying to find a way to, like, bring you down from it. Yeah. And that's just pretty much what it is. Because I could easily have been the same way. I could have been like, this dude is working a bigger station than me. 
You know, he's younger than me. Like, fuck, I could have been jealous. Wait, but how old are you? 25. Oh, okay. Not gotcha. that young. Yeah. Not that young. <laughs> <laughs> but instead, I was like, no, that's fucking dope. You know, one of us is up there. Right. Like, right. Gone. But I think for the, ma- the majority, we're never going to find support like that. I mean, including us. Wait, first of all, this is bothering me. Can you raise this oh, <laughs> microphone? Oh, I'm sorry. The microphone is se mayor. Ingeniero, por favor, that's what we that's what we pay you, the big bucks. You know Viagra, what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, push this in a little bit. No, no, no. Push it in. Yeah. Like Technical that. difficulties. And then, <laughs> none of this gets edited out. Like that. Yeah, no. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll learn this, this little, little microphone break. Let me just yeah, because like even even in, la, in Latin radio, when I started, because I started in La Raza, right? So it was uh-huh. Mexican as fuck. I was fucking, ¿Qué onda, compa? ¿Qué quién sabe qué? No, qué fierro. And then they were like, oh, we need you in a mega now. Boom, transitioning to fucking urban radio mm. in, in the Latin community. And at that point, I wasn't really too big in Bad Bunny, J Balvin. Like, I did listen to them, but I wasn't a really big of a fan. I didn't really know their music. But then all of a sudden, I was like, you, got, you have to learn it. You got to know. And then they were like, and you have to be able to talk the way they talk. Neutral. I'm like, yo, I'm Mexican. Like, there's no oh, way I'm going to wow. come in with the accent. We actually got an d- email. Dominican. Sí, sí. We actually got an email de, de alguien quejándose de la host del mediodía. Diciendo, oh, she sounds too Mexican. And I'm like, well. What? Like, she is Mexican. <laughs> that makes sense. No, and I had people calling what? me. I had people calling me. It's like, oh, she sounds too Mexican. And I'm like, yo, I, I think she's Mexican. I so. mean, if you're Mexican, how the, how the fuck do you not sound Mexican? So when they, I, they went on Univision, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, La Rosa de Guadalupe. The thing is, the guy, bef- the guy before me in the afternoon was Dominican slash mm. Cuban, right? Mm. And I feel like everybody that's either... Dominican, Puerto Rican, or, you know, South American, they can kind of relate to all the cultures from over there. Right. Right? As in us, from, I feel like, Central American up, it's just us. We don't really, <laughs> we can't really relate to everybody down there. And entonces, I got, I mean, this dude was over here talking, like, you know, with Cuban words, Venezuelan words, and relating to them. I come over here, and I'm just, I'm just like, no, nah, pues, este vato, que quien sabe que, talking the way I talk, I started getting <laughs> emails, phone calls, DMs, que... You know, this is a Latin radio. Why are you talking so Mexican? Why are you talking English? And I'm like, because I was raised here and I speak Spanglish. It's like the fact that you don't understand English, that's, that's, your, that's your fault. <laughs> that's, that's not my problem. And I got so much hate for about a year, bro. Wow. Like, and they were all Latinos. They were like, no, que you shouldn't even be on here, que blah, blah, blah. Now, ya la gente que me escucha, pues la gente que le gusta, right? I don't even want to ask what the public thinks of me. <laughs> I don't even want to know. <laughs> it's better. I, I feel like they like you more just because you're Venezuelan. Maybe. Porque mm. ahora, ahora hay muchos venezolanos. Hace, uno, hace un par de años, bueno, nosotros cuando llegamos acá, it was 2015, so what, like, seven years ago or something like that. No había tantos venezolanos, pero ahora hay muchos yeah, venezolanos. Yeah, like new Mexicans. Muchísimo. Si somos yeah, una plaga. No, I'm just kidding. Bro. I'm going to get I don't know where they came from. Well, I mean, yeah. I do know where they came from. I sí, just don't know how bueno, they got here um, so fast. Yeah, no, me neither. <laughs> But growing up, uh, at least for me, growing up, I grew up in like, sabes, no, ahorita fuera del aire, in like a black community, right? And but even then, I grew up not knowing or having like struggles with my identity. Mm. Era de que I couldn't be too Mexican because if I was Mexican, me echaban burla de que ah, you're too Mexican. So I was trying to fit in with the black right, people. Right, right. But then they were like, you're not black. What the right. fuck? Why are you talking like that? Did yeah. you go through any of that growing up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, especially, I think, like during high school because I'm like, my high school was the same. It was like 50% black, 50% Hispanic, uh, mostly like Mexican. And so. Being Salvadorian, it was like you you already didn't even fit in with the Mexicans. Like right. they already didn't even like you. Just for, like there's always that like anytime Salvadorians Mexicans, it was just clash. Yeah, I don't know why that for is. some stupid reason soccer, bro. It's literally just football. Like, it, you think so? It's yeah, just I think it's just all because of soccer. Because bro. like to that me, it wouldn't crazy. even make sense. Because how many times do we really play each other in an actual match that matters, bro? <laughs> like it's, that yes. matters. it's always like a friendly practice match. You know what I mean? I'm like so. What's or, the big deal? Yeah, with and it's just like I think I think anytime like I would get shit on, it was always around like when Mexico would play El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally every time. So okay, I feel, ahora, I feel bad for you. Just create a little chaos and tension. Don't do that. We're here to I'm in the middle, people. man. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just yeah. like a little bit. No, all right, go. Un poquitico, tú sabes, así como para spicy. What? What are you gonna ask? ¿Qué equipo de fútbol es mejor? Ah, well, the Mexican team. But is it? But, but it's <laughs> only, we're, we're only good, like, let's say, like, you know, in Central America. Because then we play against the United States, we get shitted on. Canada whooped our ass oh not too boy, long ago. I don't even we want to know. Mexico's against, terrible right like, now. We tied against some, <laughs> some team from Africa, which, no disrespect, but they're not the best. And we tied. I mean, I don't know what the fuck we're doing right now. The Mexican soccer team is disgusting. I'm ashamed of it right now. Oh, honey, we know shame. <laughs> La Vinotinto Do, do, do oh, y'all even my have God. a soccer team? We do That's so sad that you don't even know it It's called <laughs> La Vinotinto And yeah 
<laughs> Dude, jo- Joseph Martinez struggling. doesn't even do good in that. Yeah, no, like, I, I didn't even know he played for the Celtics in the Venezuela. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. He's, like, he's okay on it. I, I gave up like a long time ago. El otro día estaba viendo unas fotos de, uff, de hace viejo, viejo, viejo. Y entonces eran como, I want to say 2004 or something like that. And we had like a little presentation at school, but, right? Y entonces era como que el, el mundial, y entonces como que cada salón tenía, each grade had like, um, what's it called? Como que representaba un país para la selección del mundial. Y me tocó Venezuela. Y entonces era uno que decía, este año sí vamos al mundial, este año sí lo vamos a hacer. Oye, que se lo han ido. Y, yeah, we, we didn't classify that year, or the year after, or the year after that. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So. Yo creo que El Salvador no ha llegado a un mundial desde el 78. Really? I don't think we've ever, I have to, Damn. can you Google that up? Like, no, Tinto ha hecho algo por Dude, su vida. Are you, a, are you a fan of soccer, though? A little bit. Okay, so you're not passionate where you're nah. like, like, you're like, it hurts that you're not. If I'm not watching the game or like, you know, I have to cancel everything, no. Or I the just, fact that Salvador doesn't get to the World Cup nah, doesn't bother you. Nah. Because I'm like, if, if you're a big fan of a country, of a soccer team that just never goes to a World Cup, I wonder how that must be. It would hurt. We, we gave up a long time ago. But anyway, that's not Don't you guys play just, other sports, though? Like baseball or some shit? Baseball. Oh, we're, you guys are good, good at that. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's about everything yeah. that you guys export, right? <laughs> that and criminals. like people to Colombia. Yeah, no, criminals as well. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. We're the only country that no hemos ido al mundo. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> La vino tinto. Damn, you are the only country in, in ever to not go to the World Cup. <coughs> Yo, y'all have so to get bullied. Like out of the South whole America. world, nah. Well, I guess the people who actually whatever play, right. We get left me Venezuela in baseball, so stop. <laughs> All right. Damn, that sucks. So, you were talking about your high school. Are you oh yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to pull up the article. <laughs> She's, he's reading the whole thing. <laughs> they're, they're crying, bro. In the picture. I think he is crying right now. <laughs> oh my God, what is this? <laughs> okay. Zero. You, you're going to have to send me that link. O sea, literal, estamos viendo un artículo donde se ven los países que más han ido y está como Brasil. And it's like a pyramid thing. Y Venezuela está lo último, cero. Yo, like Mexico big even on zero. there? Mexico's not even on there. That's South America. Oh, God. Right, anyway, sorry, you keep interrupting Romero, I am man. so sorry, but you did not have to pull the article, Marco. That's fine. No, so, uh, <laughs> so yeah, I think growing up, it was like I tried to, like, like integrate myself with, like, the Mexican culture. And it was cool because, like, you, there's a lot more to relate to them. Obviously, you're Latino. There's still a lot more, like, of the same, same foods and things like that or, like, different flavors. But it's still kind of very similar. Mm-hmm. Or, like, you know, Spanish is just, like you're kind of connected. Right. And then it's the same thing where, like, I try to, like, like relate to my black friends and, like, their culture, and it was just like, oh, like, I don't know, and none of this. So it was always, like, a, a mix. And then after I graduated high school, I started working in a lot of, like, uh, TV stuff and movie stuff, and I, it was a lot of white people. And that, that threw me off completely because it was just, like, a lot of white people and trying to, like, relate to them mm-hmm. or trying to, like, you know, pretend to be almost one of them, but you always knew at the end of the day you were brown. So it was always weird because, but like, I, I always tried to like integrate myself with with American culture a lot more, or like white people culture a lot more. So I think that was like, yeah, definitely like a hard time of of an identity crisis of I don't know who I am. Like, you yeah, know, like yeah. I don't like. I feel like I, yes, I'm Latino, but like I also grew up in America, so I have a lot. Like we like my family celebrates Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. but we celebrate it very American. Like we have literally a turkey, oh, no, ham. Yeah. Mac and cheese, like green beans, like it's very American. And then I see like my Mexican friends, and they have tamales. They yes. got like like tacos and other stuff. And like they still celebrate <laughs> Thanksgiving, but they're in their own way. Yeah. But then my family, like we do it like the American way. We eat like a fucking three in the afternoon, bro. Like who the what? fuck does that? No, we do it like at eight. <laughs> like who the fuck does that? Like I always be like, what the fuck? Why are we eating in the middle of the day? So. <laughs> Yeah. Is it just like your family, or do you yeah. have other family members that celebrate it more Hispanic? No, I think it's just like mostly my family, unless it's like my cousins who like are married to Mexicans, okay. and then they go like off and do their thing, and then they have the tamales, and I but just the be, I'd be trying to just claim them. Like. I, I'd be trying to like, like tag along with them, like yo, take me, bro. I'm tired of this turkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring them over for Thanksgiving. Chris. So <laughs> now we have a friend, Oscar. Este Oscar, he's he's Mexican as fuck too. 
<laughs> but them dudes, they do Thanksgiving American too. They they pavo todo seco, like fucking <laughs> mashed potatoes and shit. And like I, I can do, I can eat it, but I'd rather have oh, yeah. mis tacos and mis tamales. We have las ayacas y el pernil, which is do you guys no? Okay, that's fine. Isn't pernil like pork? Yeah, it's like a big fat thing of pork. Mm -hmm. And oh, wow. uh, las ayacas are like tamales, but extra, just like on steroids. Wow. It takes oh, oh my god. Mi mamá el otro día me dice, yes, it takes like three days to make. Oh fuck that. Yeah. Oh whoa. Yeah. I need my shit today. Yeah, no. It takes like three days. Mi Wait. abuelita, mi abuelita que siempre viene, viene cada seis meses and all that. Ella es like, ay, vamos a hacer allá casi I'm like, no, please no, because it's like a whole process. It's three days cooking it. No, okay. O sea, so, so what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that bill gonna be expensive as <laughs> hell. Like the the oven just on three days. No, okay. <laughs> So, un día, un día preparas las hojas, otro día haces el guiso, otro día haces la masa, and then you assemble all together. Oh, But wow. it's, it's like a whole mm. thing. So, yeah. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. And otra pregunta, bro. Creciendo aquí, ya, ya casi como latino. Were you ever taught, or did you ever catch on um, to use a white voice? Yeah. Right? Ooh. Okay, I yeah. thought I was the only one. Yeah, yeah, But yeah, it's yeah, a no, thing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, when you talk to certain people, you kind of use this white voice, and it yeah. makes you, like, more approachable. Yeah, especially yeah. when you're in the phone, customer service. Yeah, like, yeah. it's like, hey, how can I help you? Well, I, especially, <laughs> like, growing up, like, I, I went to ESOL, right? Yeah, me so, too. So, like, I didn't know any English when I got here, and I remember I wanted to try to not have an accent. Mm. Like, any time that I talked in English, I was trying to make sure that there was no, like, accent there. Like, I didn't want any of that. And it to the point where like my teachers would be like, "Oh, I thought you were born here because you don't have an accent." And I'll be like, "Cool." Like I was proud of that. Aww, so because I was just like, "Yeah." Like I've always That's had crazy. teachers that were like, "Oh, you're not an ESOL no more." And they were like, "Why?" And I was just like, "Cause I know English now." What do you mean? Like what? <laughs> like I, I used to think my fourth grade teacher was stupid because she was just so <laughs> stupid, bro. Like she used to like I think she was like low key racist now that I think about it. Yeah. Yeah. She would ask questions that were kind of like. Oof. She'd be like, so did you jump the border or what? Literally, oh. bro, like shit like that. Like she asked me how no. I came here and I was just like, I remember thinking like as a fourth grader, like it's none of your business. Like Fourth grade, I mean, how old do you have to be when you're in fourth grade? Like nine, ten? Uh, I think yeah, so. around there. Oh, that is so messed up. Yeah, like nine years old, yeah. That is so messed up. And I, I mean, used... he's traumatized right. by the whole experience. <laughs> and it's like, so tell me, how many crocodiles do you meet in the way? It's like, what? Right, yeah. <laughs> what? And then, like, I remember, like, I'm telling you, like, she, when she was like, oh, like, you don't have an accent, like, that's so, like, and I used to think, like, like, and they think why that's a you? compliment. Yeah. You know what I mean? They it's think like, that's a damn. compliment. It's like, oh, your English is so good. And it's like. I'm like, yeah, motherfucker, I've been here all my life. Like, yeah. what do you expect? So. <sighs> but you yeah. do have an accent, though. I, I, I do now. But it's, it's good. It's Did like, you I, adopt I feel like we have a nice accent, right? Kind of I like, think I just, I'm getting stupider. Like, I don't. <laughs> As I, as I get older, bro, like, I, I, for, I forget English now. So I'm just like, how do you say this? Oh, yeah, she said he said, no, no, just. Que, que fuerte, que fuerte, <laughs> but doesn't Spanglish come in handy, bro? Because I feel uh, like there's words that you can just express better in English than Spanish well, I, sometimes. Well, I think I don't, lately, I. You use more English. I use more English lately. Yeah. But that's because of where I work. Right. Like, there's well, yeah, nobody you know, that's talking Spanish to. Uh, and then, but when I do go home, it's like all in Spanish. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's like, I don't really, I don't think I have the Spanglish in me. So it's either, like, I'm either talking full English or full-on Spanish. That's oh, crazy. shit. But I, I, for me, it's very hard to, like, intertwine both of them. No, but I think maybe con algunas palabras. You know what I mean? So, a veces. So, a veces so, me sale. So, yeah, it's like, yeah. ay, pasame el wipey or, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. So. Yeah, no, because, like, when I'm on the air, it's literally fucking Spanglish. Like, my brain, that's the only way it works. That's like, cool. Like, I, I don't think I can do a full sentence just in, like, English or that's Spanish. Cool. It just, like, fucking flips. But it's not because, like... I'm smarter. It's because, like, my Spanish is horrible and my English is bad, too. <laughs> so, like, I got to fucking mix it in order for it to make sense. If not, nobody's going to understand what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> But it's just part of it, right? It's just yeah. part of it, of growing multicultural. Sí, porque... Y entonces, después del high school, fuiste a la universidad. Yeah. Uh, pero la universidad era, también era, era en HBCU. You know what that is, right? Like, a, a historical black college. Oh, so, shit, it was, ma you. like, ma Making majority, history. majority, like, black people. And black culture, so I think it was it was the same thing, but with the scholarship that I had, era de, de DACA. Like the scholarship era solo para DACA. Entonces, mm. to pusieron todos los dreamers en un edificio. Like everybody, so all the dreamers were like sports. literally Damn, all dreamers bro. were in like the same building the in the irony. same dorm rooms, God. and we were forced to like room with with each other. It like, was free. So. Yeah, it was well, yeah, but I mean, isn't that like ironic it's, it's, if it's a black school and then you guys get segregated for being brown? Bit, to be honest, yeah. <laughs> Did, did 100%. You ever, are you just coming to that realization? Or? I think so. <laughs> really? You didn't think yeah. about that? Yeah, no, I just, 
I felt like it was just like cause we didn't have a bad building. Mm. We had like one of the best buildings. So coming in as a freshman, you were never supposed to be in that building. Okay. So they always put they placed us in a good building. So I never saw it as like ah, okay, but they treated you well yeah. though. But, like, there were still black people in that building, too. Don't get me wrong. But the lunch line wasn't, like, brown only. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> brown only. Then. Yeah, no, so, yeah. What was I saying? Something about college. What, yeah. What, what did oh, you yeah. go for college? Call it. What did I go for? Yeah. Uh, I studied this. Entertainment. Yeah, Entertainment. communications. And, uh, and I focused on production for TV, film, and radio. That's nice. Cool. And then that's when I got um, an uh, internship for the Burt Show. Right. And then I worked for them as an intern. And then my internship was over, and then one of the one of their producers left, and they were like, "Hey, do you want to join the show?" And I th- a lot that's funny because like when I first joined, they said, "Oh, like you only got the job because you yeah because you're brown." And I used to take that like I could see that I was so hurt by that because I was just like, "Oh shit!" Like I didn't even get it because I was good. No, and I've told my girl that I'm like, "You think they got Romeo just because he's brown?" Yeah, but which I mean, is which yo, is a yo, good thing. Yo te like, digo algo. O sea, it, it kind of hurts your ego. But you're still there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, right. ahora, I give my hand darle mostrar a la gente, you know what? I'm here, and I got him because I'm brown. Yeah, I mean, if a big radio called you know me, and they're I mean? like, hey, we need a Mexican. You want the job? I'm like, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be that Mexican. Yeah, no, the, the primero. You as a charro, <laughs> really? <laughs> Tampoco, I'm not going to degrade myself. <laughs> Just como potrillo, you know, singing oh, Vicente Fernández no. and all that. I wouldn't show up like much. this with a group of people. I would show up like this because this is, like, modern right now. It's modern. By the way, we are fakely. Because look, you Sponsored by Grupo Firme. They don't know that they're sponsoring us, but they sent the hat and the shirt, and we'll be there. Tickets, link, right here. Rebe will put it there. Anyways, that, was a, free, that was a free commercial for Grupo yeah, Firme. Maybe they see it, and they're like, hey, get on the stage, because we saw the shout-out on your podcast that has, like, 10 views. Right. Quien quite, güey. Quien quite. Benny, it's okay. Everything is going to be okay. Speaking of Grupo Firme, do you listen to Hispanic music? I do. What kind of Hispanic music? Don't uh, be like Pitbull. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Enrique Iglesias, right? Like post J Lo. Yeah, I listen to all of that. Yeah, you, you listen to, I guess, Mexican music. Not, not too much, no, because of my girlfriend, un poco, pero. She's Mexican. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So she fucks with like the Mexican music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know how to dance Mexican music since she's no. Mexican? It's just. <laughs> Do you dance? It's just a lot of jumping, right? You don't, uh, you don't dance, right? Nah, nah don't, come on. Definitely I mean, not. Uh, it's, it's a little, you know, that's why I looked yeah, at you, because it's just, yeah. it's a little bit of, yeah. like, you do, do, just, do, yeah, do, and they, no, but they're very aggressive, let me tell you. Or, I go carachas, and you gotta, <laughs> <laughs> well, that one with the wapangos is the la paso. El zapateado, what do you think? Like, it's just stomping yeah, your feet, zapateado. you know, so. I mean. Uh, but I know how to dance it, I think. I can keep up. Yeah. But I think it's just because I don't know how to dance it. Yeah, but I know how to dance it, I think. I can keep up. Yeah, but I think uh, lo que más would you stand out? If I took you to a quinceanera, would you stand out when we dance? Nah, nah, nah. nah I can you, move my hips. You're up there, okay? Because these hips. fuckers don't know how to dance at all, and they're from Venezuela. They don't even like nada, dance. nada. <laughs> Merengue. I, I do know him. Yeah. Let me stop lying. You see, told me you don't no, know how to no, dance. No, no, I, I dance just like a little bit. O sea, yo bailo pero bien, bien poquitico. So I just straight up say that I don't dance. So they're not like, ay, baila, babe, vamos a bailar. And I'm like, no, please, no. <laughs> leave me next to the shrimp, please. Not even like a bachata, that's like easy. No, see, yo soy bailo bachata, merengue, este, no, I but I don't, I don't I do. Yeah? Yes, yes, you do. But yeah, cuando like vueltas and shit, you know how Dominicans be doing all this fucking crazy I shit with their feet? I do that, he does, the thing is that between us here, that he can hear us at the moment, mm-hmm. pero él, he's kind of rígido. I don't know what that means. Es como una, es una tablita. Oh, that's not good, so you gotta like, just let loose, bro. Él es una tablita, so it's kind of hard. <laughs> Pero sí, yo sé lo que viene siendo eh, merengue, bachata, este, eso sí, because it's, it's pretty basic, but don't, don't salsa, no. Cumbia? Cumbia, I mean, I don't know. You know how to cumbia it up? Yeah, that's a pretty much like what Salvadorians. Oh, yeah? That's, like, that's their Are thing, cumbia. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of cumbia, though? Because you know there's like different cumbias. Salvadorian cumbia, I don't know. Like, We're gonna, I'm going to Google me some Salvadorian cumbia, just so I can get an idea. Yeah, I know. When when Aguanile comes or I think you can do los like Los Hermanos Vicente. Flores. I think that's one of them. Oh shit, that's my family, bro. What if I completely don't? That's merengue, that's bro. Merengue, yeah. Oh, maybe. Bro, you don't fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, merengue too, though. Uh, we do that merengue too. Hey. <laughs> He said All right, cool. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Let me out, bro. I'm stuck in the middle. Let me out. It's the most painful thing you've ever been told. But I should go back to where I came from. Like, dude, 
You really want me back at your mom's place? Caught a vibe. Baby, are you coming for the-